So we're pretty much drowning it. And then let's take it out. Let's play the music, shall we? So this is going to be my third Inac Fire earbud model that I'm going to review. So I remember the first Inac Fire uh, model that I bought from Amazon. It was extremely affordable and also it had a really good sound quality as well. And Inac Fire has a very good history of uh, receiving a lot of positive review on Amazon. Look them up. I mean, even the A10, it's now flooding in. It recently came out. It's now flooding in with excellent reviews and so on. And that's, I'm actually really excited to review on this one. And uh, this one actually comes with the Bluetooth 5.0 too, just like most of the earbuds nowadays very affordable as well and uh, wireless charging that's very good for its price and a complete waterproof this actually comes with the ipx8 which literally means that you can actually swim with it but then again why would you swim with this because of the water resistance i'm pretty sure it's going to push out from your ears but anyhow i'm really excited about to um, review this a10 model so here it goes. Okay, so let's use the Higonokami knife indeed. Open it up. Right, so the true wireless stereo earphones. So these are the instruction, isn't it? On how you can actually use this. And this is the other instruction. Now we got the Profon. Okay. Um, texting on it. And the earbuds is actually already separated from the case. And the plastic is very light and um, kind of firm. So um, yeah, light is good actually for your earbuds because it means that it's gonna be, you know, you can use it for long use. That's how it looks like. No logo, very discreet. And you got the left and the right. And um, pretty much the standard look of the earbuds. And within that, this is the last thing that we need to check, which is, so we got the usual micro USB-C cable. Okay. And the spare ear plugs, pretty simple um, and straightforward package in these. And that's pretty much it. And yeah, you can see that uh, light coming out and yeah, uh, the bar is clearly indicating that it is being charged wirelessly, so indeed. So we're gonna do a sound comparison between the Inac Fire A10 and Sony XM4 by using this brilliant track called Utopia by an artist called Ashutosh. So here it goes.
on my left hand side I got the Inac Fire A10 and on my right hand side I got the Sony XM4 earbuds and I'm gonna simultaneously listen to both of these earbuds based on this brilliant music called Utopia by Ashutosh so here it goes okay the beats are very similar Sony XM4 is slightly faster this is like 0.1 second or something it's really like almost the same but anyhow okay so basically the central weight of the uh, sound is slightly nudged towards to the Enac Fire A10. In other words, the treble sound on Sony X4 is slightly better uh, than Enac Fire A10. But um, let's say if you, unless you actually do a direct comparison, they're pretty good actually. I mean the A10 is really good. You can't really complain but it's only that central weight is slightly pushed over to from the um, Sony XM4. That's very interesting but otherwise very good sound. So this is a microphone test and I'm actually uh, connected my A10 in Actifier earbuds to my computer and I'm actually creating a wave file on it uh, so I hope uh, this tiny microphone holes that is actually built in to this earbud will produce a rather uh, decent sound quality mic sound uh, recording if you see what I mean and um, I believe this is how I normally would talk when I'm actually on the phone slightly higher uh, volume level than normally how I would talk or record on my video so I hope you guys could hear my voice um, in a decent sound quality. Now this is something I never done ever regards to the earbuds and I have to do it because this earbud is rated IPX8. So let's actually dunk in these earbuds into a cup of water. I just hesitated to do it but here it goes. Okay, well it's actually floating but right okay so we're pretty much drowning it okay so let's actually place the mic in there can you hear it can you hear it see it's all it's all droopy with water and it still plays that's amazing so right after the water test i immediately heard the sound i can tell immediately that the uh the bass and the treble sound has actually been watered out blurred out so i was slightly worried and uh, trying to think what i'm going to say on the conclusion part of this whole review but then again after i actually wipe it with the tissue dry and then try to shake it and then um, dry it out a bit after about 10-15 minutes the sound actually uh, came back to normal. The way how I actually realized it came back to normal was I was directly listening to my Sony XM4 earbuds comparing to it and it was exactly the way how it sounded like when I was doing the personal sound test and so on like how you saw early on. So overall um, yes it is a waterproof indeed and also it comes with a wireless function which is becoming more and more useful uh, function to have for an earbud and the sound quality is not going to be as good as Sony XM4 and four, but you're not going to feel like this is really cheap nasty sound it's a very good sound quality earbuds for what you're paying for one thing i'm just trying to figure out still is i don't know what the pro font means maybe it's a new brand uh, maybe inac fire could ex explain to me later on but overall it's a very good price as usual as how inac fire always gets with their review um, from the from the first model that i reviewed there have always been excellent review hardly anyone is complaining please do check it out on the amazon review for yourself to see how good how well reputated inac fire is with their earbuds and yeah i hope this video clarified how good the model a10 is but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is lcp tech all the best Bye-bye.